Every masterpiece begins with a single stroke, a child's first drawing, a budding artist's first sketch, a classroom's first color-coded chart, all powered by something so simple, yet so iconic, the crayon. Today, we journey deep into the heart of color, inside a world where wax meets pigment, where engineering meets creativity, and where 3 billion crayons are born every single year. This is how crayons are made, the legacy of color. When crayon production first began in America in the early 1900s, art supplies were a luxury. Only a handful of companies competed in this new and promising space, supplies for children, schools, and artists. But in 1903, one name emerged as the future of color, Crayola a company that would go on to become synonymous with the word crayon itself. The name Crayola, a blend of the French word for chalk, cray, and ola, meaning oily, was coined by Alice Binney, wife of one of the company's founders. Today, Crayola produces an average of 8 million crayons every single day, enough to circle the globe six times every year. At the core of every crayon is paraffin wax, a petroleum-based substance that melts smoothly, spreads evenly, and holds color brilliantly. Delivered in liquid form, paraffin is kept heated during transport to remain pourable. At just 135 degrees Fahrenheit or 57 degrees Celsius, it solidifies, so precision in temperature is key. At the crayon plant, this wax is pumped into towering silos some capable of holding 65,000 liters. That's the equivalent weight of a military helicopter, just in wax. But paraffin alone isn't enough. Crayons must be strong enough to draw, smooth enough to glide, and vibrant enough to spark imagination. So manufacturers blend in clay for structure, steric acid for softness, and anti-stick agents to ensure clean molding. Next comes the color. Each pigment, carefully crafted by suppliers, is mixed to exact formulas. These pigments are dried, crushed into fine powder, and blended until the hue is just right. Some pigments are naturally derived. Others are engineered in labs. All are non-toxic, safe, and consistent. Want glitter? Add reflective mica. Want scent? Blend in synthetic fragrances. Today's crayons are more than just color, they're experience. In massive kettles, paraffin and pigments meet. Heated to around 82 degrees Celsius, this mixture is kept liquid but stable, constantly stirred to ensure uniformity. Every color batch is monitored for consistency in shade, texture, and flow. This isn't just cooking, it's chemistry. Get it wrong and the crayons will crack, flake, or lose their vibrance. Once ready, the liquid wax is pumped into rotary molding machines. These devices, capable of producing nearly 2,700 crayons per cycle, fill thousands of crayon-shaped molds with the colored wax. A rapid cooling system ensures each crayon solidifies within 60 seconds. Too fast, and they'll crack. Too slow, and production halts. Timing is everything. Nothing goes to waste. Excess wax is collected remelted, and reused. Sustainability is woven into the process at every step. Once solid, each crayon is ejected from its mold and sent through inspection. Workers scan for defects, breaks, bubbles, or inconsistent color. Flawed crayons are recycled. Only the perfect survive. Next comes labeling. A machine applies glue, presses a paper wrapper, and spins it tight at a rate of over 8,500 crayons per hour. Each label proudly wears the color's name and the Crayola seal. In the early 1900s, you could choose from just eight crayon colors. Today, that number is over 120, with special editions, neon sets, and scented series pushing the boundaries of creativity. Modern factories run 24-7. Vats are often dedicated to just one color to avoid cross-contamination, and the scale is astonishing. Hundreds of thousands of crayons made daily, sorted by robotic arms into their iconic boxes. After packaging, the crayons begin their journey, shipped to schools, toy stores, supermarkets, and homes around the globe. 
The journey of a single crayon ends where imagination begins. In your hands. A tool for education. An instrument of art. A memory of childhood. The crayon is more than just wax and pigment. It's expression. Possibility. Magic. Crayons have become a part of every creative journey. Whether in a child's first drawing or an artist's intricate sketch, they are often the first tool used to explore the world of color and creativity. Every crayon holds the potential to bring ideas to life and to communicate feelings, stories, and dreams. Whether it's in the hands of a toddler exploring the world through color or an artist creating a masterpiece, crayons are more than just tools. They are instruments of expression that transcend generations. This iconic product continues to inspire creative thought in millions of children and adults alike. Crayola takes sustainability seriously. From using recycled materials to reducing waste and energy consumption, the company has implemented systems that make production more eco-friendly. In fact, Crayola continues to improve its green initiatives, ensuring that each crayon is as kind to the environment as it is to your imagination. Looking ahead, the future of crayon manufacturing is ripe for innovation. Engineers are constantly exploring new materials and technologies to make crayons more vibrant, durable, and environmentally friendly. Whether it's experimenting with new eco-friendly waxes or exploring more advanced methods of pigment creation, the future of crayons is always evolving. From molten wax to tiny hands, from factory floor to coloring books, crayons connect us all. Because every great story begins with a little color. Subscribe for more stories of how the world works.